Good morning everyone, what is going on? How's your day going? I'm just going good so far. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Hopefully it comes out good, but as you can see right here, I've started to take apart my scooter deck because I'm going to be ruining this deck. I have had this deck like ever since like 2014. Like I was honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, I was probably the first person in like this area where I live, like all the scooter kids that have an MFX deck. That's why the video that I made on my MFX review and unboxing, those both did pretty good. It's cause I did those videos, like I bought it like right as it came out. I was super pumped when I got the announcement that it was gonna come out. R. Willie wrote it and R. Willie's my favorite scooter rider. So naturally I'm going to get whatever he buys and I actually think I'm gonna be ordering some clearance R. Willie wheels today too. So today I'm gonna be going to get some sandpaper, some paint, and I'm just gonna be cleaning it off, getting it super clean and prepped for paint, and then I'm gonna paint it, and hopefully everything should come out good. I don't know how long I will, I'm probably not gonna be able to ride it today, because I want it to like actually dry and do good, like I'm gonna get some good coats on, like I wanna paint it as professional as I possibly can. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, we gotta go and go get some stuff to make the deck all good. So here's what we've got so far. I went out, I got a sheet of grip tape, some sandpaper, uh, I got coral paint, and then I also got white because I'm going to do some base coats and then do the actual color and then clear coat. Then I just took apart my deck. I, so, so right now what I need to do is take the grip off the deck and take the brake off the deck. Then after I take all the sticky grip off, I'm going to go out and sand it, get all the paint down to its raw metal and get it super fine so that the paint is going to stick really good. Then I'm going to power wash it, dry it off, and then I'm going to start the painting process. I'm going to take you guys through the whole process. But pretty much this video, uh, how to ruin your MFX deck. If you actually like like this, then I guess it's technically not ruining it. So I don't really know exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty much just trying to like scratch out the really big scratches and smooth it up. Like, cause I know that it's like, it's like scratching it really bad, but it still feels smooth. And once you get paint over it, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Hopefully I'm doing all this right. So by the end of this video, uh, I'm going to go over everything I did if it worked out. Alright, so then after I go through this really, really coarse sand to get all like the dimples and like the bumps and like this weird stuff out, then I get 280 grit sandpaper. This is just like this big old thing sheet that my dad had. And then I go and like scratch it off to make it super, super smooth so that once it's painted, it looks like really good once it's all done. I'm just going to go through the whole deck. I do rough to get all like the crap scratched deep cut type things out and then I go over this to get the paint off and to get the paint smooth so that once I paint over it, everything will be all perfect. So I just barely got done like wet sanding it and just normal sanding it and making the metal really smooth and getting like as much as like the little like little bubble metal spots I don't really know what to call them but I got all those off and then I went out and power washed it so now it's all clean and ready to go so now I'm gonna hang up the deck and start painting. So right here we have the MFX on this little string Good enough to hold it so I can paint all the angles and get everything good. It's just between two fence posts with a big piece of string. So now I'm going to do the very first base coat of white because if I were to just go pink right in the bat, if it were to get a chip or anything, then it'd show the orange up. And I don't think I, I would like that. So I want to do a base coat of white because I think that'd look more professional. This is what the base coat looks like, coat one. I think I'm going to do three base coats and then four main coats, but that might change depends on what it ends up looking like. But now I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes, then come back and give it another coat. This is now what it looks like after doing two coats, just nice and just looks like a white MFX. You can still see some kind of orangey spots, but that'll be done in the third coat. So I think I'm gonna do three coats of this, and then so the next coat I'm gonna go thicker, and then next we're gonna go to the pinkish, it's actually called coral, but that's what I'm going to be painting this deck. So after three coats, we are looking really good. It's just looking like, honestly, just like a pure white MFX, which is originally what I was going to go for. And then I realized that it would get so dirty that it would just always look like gray or a weird color. So here it is, just a nice white MFX. The next coat I will be doing is the coral gloss paint coat. So it's basically going to look like a salmon pink or a like orange pink it's just like you guys are gonna see I don't know how good it does on camera to see like how realistic it looks but the color is officially called coral 
and we're gonna be doing that in just a second. I'm gonna let this dry for like 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna go inside, watch a couple videos, and then come back out, and then start on the pink layer. That is the first layer of super light coral. I think it looks really good so far, so I'm sure it's gonna turn out great. I think I'm not gonna film the next time I'm gonna be painting. I'm just gonna go straight to when it's done, and I'm about to take it off of this sketchy cord wire, but it should look good next clip. So right here we have the finished product, kind of. It's not the complete screw yet, but this is kind of the color. I hope you guys can tell. It is called coral, like I've said before, and I'm gonna let this sit overnight, and then I'm gonna continue the video tomorrow. And I'm also going to do rip art, which you guys are going to end up seeing. So here's the deck. Tomorrow I'm going to get everything all set up. But here's a quick little cinematic edit of the deck. If I gotta slap a pussy ass nigga, I'ma make it look sexy. If I gotta go hard on a bitch, I'ma make it look sexy. So basically what you guys are seeing right now is I'm drawing on the deck. I started off by doing a little triangle and then I just slowly moved on to doing big triangles. So right now we are here. I just barely cut out a sheet of grip tape, but I still have this big one for an extra one. But right now, here's the deck. Here's the bottom part. That's still kind of drying. But right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just laying on the grip, making sure it's all on good. And then I use this tool and a razor and then I get the MFX cutout out. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna use the same paint markers and I'm gonna draw stuff on the grip. Right here we have the finished product of the grip, and then the deck, and then the bottom of the deck. So right now it is ready to be all set up. But first I'm gonna do a little art on the grip tape. I'm not actually quite sure what yet. I think I'm just gonna do a time lapse of what I end up drawing, but. I probably look like really black right now from the light over there, but that is the look of my MFX right now. I just outlined it in white. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to the deck. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if I do, you guys are going to find out soon. Right here we have the finished product. I went ahead and I like put some more grip on the edges. Because I haven't had a full grip deck in a while. Like since I had the deck at the beginning. And here is all the paint. It came out really, really good, I think. And in tomorrow's video, you guys are going to see me set it up together. And probably go ride and get some clips. But I'm just going to show you around the deck, as you can see. And then this is the custom thing I did on the bottom that I think I explained to you what it meant and stuff. So this color is called coral, but based on the way it looks with the black, those if you think about it, they can kind of look like watermelon seeds and this is like a watermelon type color scooter. I don't have anything green, but it's whatever. So basically the way I ruined this MFX deck is I just changed the original color and then I spray painted it, which I've always not been a fan of spray painted decks because the people who I know have done spray painted decks, they spray paint them and then two days later they traded the deck and got rid of it and like, I don't know, I think this came out good though and I'm going to keep this deck. I am a huge supporter of anything MGP and the MFX deck is my favorite product of theirs and they stopped making this so this is kind of rare. Uh, hope you guys like the color. It's also kind of like the color of my YouTube color that I changed now too, which I just realized. Basically, all we did is we took apart the scooter, sanded it down, took off the grip, and then put it in my backyard on a rope and spray painted it, and then it came out looking like this. So that's going to wrap this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.